one. Showtime. <laughs> hey everybody, it's me, Yugen Cosmic, along with Ramon Co- Lewis. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know it's been a while, clearly. Um, we've been out of touch, but we haven't forgotten that this is part of our thing, and it's just been quite hectic uh, dealing with a variety of things in relations to me moving there. I've been downsizing my life and kind of just sitting in limbo, just waiting for a response from immigration, response from immigration. And Ramon's been a true champion throughout this whole process. And you know, in the meantime, we've been kind of busy doing other things as well. Um, but uh, we decided that we need to come back and revisit this because you know we've got a very interesting subject to talk about today which also plays into um, what we've been going through these past few months. So hopefully it'll be something that you guys can uh, find interesting and even talk to other people about. So before I forget, because I was just reminded, please like and subscribe and follow this channel. Yes, we don't release content regularly, but when we do, it's always something that's meaningful and potent. So uh, yeah. Very nice. Thanks for the introduction, Mr. Yugi Cosmic. You, oh, you missed your words there for a second. I know, I know, I know. I'm still a Lewis. Uh, for now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's, so, yeah, let's, you know, get into it. Like I was saying, life gets in the way, you know, we get distracted, but you always have to remember what your overall objective is. And also in order to get there, we have to talk about that p word <laughs> <laughs> persistence mm. what do you think about that well um i feel like if we talk about persistence there's some other qualities that we also need to uh have part of, of this discussion which is resilience and also grit which is a fairly new import um that we can talk on a little bit but Let's first de- define um, these qualities. So persistence or perseverance, I would say, kind of lends itself towards steadfastness. So, you know, I've got a goal in mind. I want to complete a task and I'm having a commitment to that learning, the tunnel vision. Yeah? Mm. I feel like then resilience is a tiny little bit different. It's the ability to bounce back yeah. after adversity or disappointment. Um, and then there's grit, which I really like. And I'm not sure if you've watched this TED talk. Um, what's her name? She's a psychology professor, Angela Duckworth. Anyways, she talks about how grit is the tenden- tendency to sustain long-term or interest towards long-term goals. And I feel like we've got a lot of grit going on here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. No, that's pretty and dope self-control so you're deterring self oh, sorry short-term gratification because there is a long-term goal that you have in mind hmm. so uh, i think we're playing into persistence and perseverance definitely in our lives right now resilience yeah. because every time we get a travel exemption that's a big fat no <laughs> we've got to bounce back try again and the grit is the fact that we're looking towards the future mm-hmm. um and yeah that's that's essential in success making this work yeah no spot on you know one of my favorite quotes um as uh (laughs) you will remember is from Mm -hmm. uh president theodore roosevelt uh and he said uh far better it is uh, to dare men to dare mighty things to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in the great twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. 
and mm. you know, I've often turned to this to remind me that failure is a part of life. But the difference between those who succeed and fail is persistence. And I just thought when we were talking the other day, I was like, you know what? I yeah, let's let's definitely come back to doing the podcast. Let's let's talk about persistence and how it allows us to keep moving forward in spite of like bumps in the road and so forth. Mm. That's so good. I love this quote too. <laughs> um, I think it's one thing to have persistence, but you have to realize why are you being persistent? So what's your why? And I think you've got to realize or come to terms with what your purpose is behind why you're being so persistent with that task or that goal in mind or whatever that is. Yeah. Um, and we, we love Sadhguru. <laughs> so I have a quote from him in regards to purpose. Go for and it. He says, <laughs> if you have an unwavering purpose, it doesn't matter what it is, you will be liberated. So essentially without purpose, we have chaos. We need to understand why we're doing the things we do. We want to create meaning in our lives. We want our lives to be fulfilled. Um, so without purpose, we can't persist at doing something without, if it doesn't have any meaning. Oh, that is beautiful. That is mm. beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I, it sort of reminds me of when I was um, teaching at school, primary school kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it would always, I'd always have to remind myself that before I taught the content of the day, I needed to work out, okay, why, why, first of all, what's my intention? Why am I teaching this? And how do the kids find meaning in what they're learning? Uh, yeah. Is it relatable? So if you don't know why you're learning or find the purpose in it, you can't engage with it. And then there's this void, which is what you spoke about before, the waiting place. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the waiting place is, um, you know, just the worst because you're just like in limbo, nothing happens and nothing happens, nothing will ever happen. Um, and there's this void of lack of purpose, just yeah. waiting for something to happen. You know, I'm thinking about the show that I watched, um, season two, The Patriot. And there's this guy who's this like, you know, agent that kind of does all the dirty stuff that governments don't talk about and there was a scene where he was with this little girl and she's like how do you keep doing what you do even if it's hurting you and he's like you know the thing is you gotta get you gotta look at it like this once you get 50 halfway through it then there's no other option but to keep going because if you turn back it only take it'll only be more painful and it'll only take longer but if you just keep going once you hit that half point then it gets easier every step yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's it's beautiful. Yeah, you can't turn back. It's like you're on the road. You're going to persist at it. Even if you fail, like you say, you just get up. That's where resilience kicks in. Yeah. Am I willing to do it again? You know, and maybe this time succeed. Who knows? Yeah. And do I have the grit behind mm -hmm. me? You know, that little bit of oomph to fire me into the, 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 the direction that, that I'm walking. Yeah, with, with absolute belief that I'll get there, unwaveringly so. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no, it's every time, you know, we, we go through the motions, we get amped up, and we get our stuff in order, and, you know, we come up with something a little bit different. Actually, let me, see, let me not take any credit, because you're the one that really does most of this. I just kind of go, all right, what do, what do, what do I need to do? <laughs> and we go through <laughs> the motions, and then we cross our fingers, and we wait. Mm. Yeah, you know, and yeah, if it doesn't work, we come right back to it and we keep going. Yeah, I like this, you know, what you said before, it's, I don't have an option mm -hmm. other than to succeed in the end. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to go through all the failure to know, you know, to, to get to that point. Yeah. And then it's a change in perception. I think, um, and we were talking about it before, I, I like to transcend my limitations because I look at hurdles not as obstacles, but rather opportunities. Yeah. And I think that's, 
yeah, I think that's one way to persist in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, without force or, you know, it's doesn't feel like I, oh, I have to do this or I have to get there. It's like, okay, I want to. That's wild. And I will. No, totally. You know, I, uh, okay. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've always had issue with staying consistent on things. You know, I've always, I would often get myself tied up and doing like so many things that I wind up with a multitude of unfinished projects. And as I'm thinking about it now, I have unfinished songs, poems, books, short stories, <laughs> etc. And I'm moving in a direction now where I want to just focus on one or two things so I can get things done, knowing you know, I will most likely not complete everything, but I will complete enough to my satisfaction. And the important bit is to like just keep going. You know, it's, mm. I want to be there. I want to be there with you that's like my main goal and I, you know to the point where it's just opportunities are coming and i'm passing on them because it, it just doesn't make sense like my overarching arching my overarching goal is like to just be where you are so that we can get on with our lives and start doing the things that we've been talking about forever <laughs> Well, Absolutely. for a this year. <laughs> Ooh, well, over a year. Yeah. Over um, a year, you know. Uh, this goal is fixed, you mm -hmm. know. It's not moving. It's unwavering. It's there. It's in the distance. And we're bridging the gap. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that every... Well, I do think lots of things are possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if there is no other way, that is the only thing to get to I think people then would never think something was impossible isn't that like a mind side about it, <coughs> mindset about it. uh no I was gonna I was just thinking uh about this uh Sherlock Sherlock Holmes co quote uh once you eliminate uh the impossible whatever remains no matter how improbable must be the truth mm. oh say it again <laughs> <That's a good laughs> <quote. laughs> Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. You know. Oh, that's great. <sighs> mm. The truth is, and the truth I'm is home. that we can have what we want. We just need to be persistent enough and resilient enough on that journey to get to where we need to go and have a little bit of a grit as well as our mm. fuel to get there amen true grit <laughs> which is also a very good movie if you ever saw it oh no there we go oh yeah that was a good different one. kind of grit yeah we'll <laughs> watch it um but yeah guys uh this one was just a short one just to let you know that we're still here <laughs> and we'll definitely be back um and we'll probably make more frequency of it we'll make some time to get this stuff done most of my recording equipment's in suitcases but you know we're making it happen and we will be more regular so definitely like and subscribe and the more people subscribe the faster we'll have a turnaround <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah and we we definitely got the grit to keep consistent with this one so thanks so much for joining us thank you for listening to our babble um but hopefully you learn a little bit of something through our own lived experience and that's why we do what we do amen don't give up guys so this is uh Keep it going. Yugen Cosmic signing out from New York. And Ramon Victoria Lewis from Melbourne City and we're again in lockdown. <laughs> lockdown but not never locked, locked out. out. <laughs> That's right. I was never locked out of the heart. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. Keep shining.